Hello everybody and welcome back to Aaron Sports Cards. Today I've got a three package mail day as well as a few other cards that I picked up within the last few weeks uh, from different sources. So let's go ahead and uh, first off go ahead and rip into these three mail day packages and see what we got. First up Here we go. First up, I got this really nice 2019 Topps Chrome On Card Auto of potential American League Rookie of the Year, Brandon Lau. Been starting to pick up some of his stuff. Just trying to start a nice little Brandon Lau collection. Start off with this one. Really nice looking card. Next up. Unfortunately, he's on the 10 day IL injured list, but uh, hopefully we'll see him back in action pretty soon here. Second package. Mark Reynolds and Ian Kennedy. Just kidding. <laughs> Those must be used for protection. Let's go ahead and open up this team bag. Well, here we have it. Brand new product. Brandon Lau number two. Here we have another Brandon Lau on card autograph card. This one's from the 2019 Bowman Sterling collection. Really nice looking card here. I don't believe this is a refractor, but a very beautiful card nonetheless. Sweet. All right, next up. Bet you guys can't guess who this is going to be. And here we have... Get it out of this team bag so we can see a little clearer. Here we have a beautiful Topps Inception Brandon Lau relic card, relic auto, number to 199. Looks like a piece of his pants or something here. Really nice looking card. I really like the Topps Inception, how they have all this nice um, sort of illustrated look to them with the watercolors in the background and everything. Really beautiful cards. So there's our eBay stuff. So next, uh, I was gonna go ahead and show you guys some of this other stuff that I've uh, picked up in the last few days, or should I say last couple weeks. Um, things here and there. Actually made it down to my local card shop on baseball card day uh, last week, Saturday. And Bobby was handing out the free packs. Uh, I actually pulled this really nice Ronald Acuna Cunha Jr. card out of the pack that I got. That's a sweet one. 
So these are only exclusive to the um, baseball card day packs. One pack per customer. And then this weekend, Bobby went ahead and hooked me up with this uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. card from the baseball card day set. So I'm pretty stoked on that. And really stacking up the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie cards also. Got a pretty hefty collection going on those. No auto so far, but got a bunch of his rookie cards from different different sets. And here we have a base card. I actually went back and looked through some of my commons from uh, box breaks that I did and I dug up this Brandon Lau rookie card. Really nice. And then yesterday I was at a baseball card trading event over down at the uh, local card shop, Diamond Sports Cards, and uh, made a trade for this uh, Topps Chrome Brandon Lau refractor card that one of the kids down there had pulled out of a pack. I don't know if you can see that. But it's a refractor. Pretty cool. Same image as this one. This is from the Topps Chrome and this is from the Topps Series Series 1. And then I also made another trade. I traded a Michael Kopak ze uh, Zebra card from the Panini collection. Um, made a straight across trade for the Brandon Kopech on uh, Brandon Kopech autograph Zebra card for this Brandon Lau Panini Diamond Kings card which is a really nice car. Look at the colors. This is like a piece of artwork right here. And this one's numbered to 99. Unfortunately, it's a sticker auto, um, auto rather than on card. Uh, that's one. Th that's another thing that I prefer with the Topps cards is that, you know, the majority of the autographs they do are on card as of uh, more recently, probably about 75 percent are on card car on card and the rest are uh stickers but that's still a really nice card i really like this a lot i was pretty happy with that pretty nice image here on the back as well let's go ahead and consolidate these a little nicer there we are. Okay, and um, here we have, uh, I sent a couple of these cards off uh, through the mail from Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg, $5 a card, and they came back real quick. I sent them off on a Monday, and they were returned to me the following Tuesday. Very beautiful. This is the uh, 2019 uh, Topps Living Set. This is um, designed around the 1953 Topps design. Really cool looking card. Uh, the problem sometimes what I've noticed with other people that have sent to Ryan Sandberg, you can't really pick it up here too well, but if you look really closely there is a little crease right here and I think he might have intentionally bent the card. And because I've seen every single card that people get back from him has some sort of uh, dinging or wear or creasing. And, um, you know, I even sent him a nice protective case to insert it back into to return it. And he didn't bother. I think he intentionally wants people to not turn around and try and make a profit on his stuff, which is fine with me. Because this is for my own personal collection, not for any type of profit. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I actually got three cards, but I in the third one, 
was a 1989 uh, base card, 1989 Topps base card of Ryan Sandberg. And I ended up giving that to my boss at work for his birthday. He's, uh, he's in his late 40s, so, you know, he, like me, uh, grew up during that same era and, um, you know, enjoys all the old players from the 80s. And I told him how I was sending these cards off to get uh, autographed. And uh, he, it piqued his interest. So when the time came, when they came back, which ended up being right around his birthday, I ended up uh, hooking him up with one. And here's the third one. This is a really, this is an older card. I believe this is from uh, 1983, 1985. This is from 85 tops. This is a, uh, all-star card the auto looks really nice on that one this is a really cool photo this is a really nice one this is probably my favorite out of the lot it's got a really wild signature it's all over the place almost looks like graffiti <laughs> which is cool with me okay next up um i walked into the hobby shop a few days ago and decided to try my luck with one pack of the 2019 Topps Heritage uh, high numbers and what do you know the first the, only, the first and only pack I open I hit the 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 box hit the one autograph of the box this really nice Justice Sheffield on card auto in the 1970 uh, Topps design really nice card here pretty stoked on that not a very high value card, but a really cool card nonetheless. And then, uh, a few weeks ago, I was down at the card shop for the Sunday trade day. And I made a really good trade with one of the guys down there. Uh, what did I end up trading him for this? I think I gave him... That's right. I gave him the orange... Um, the orange number to 25 on-card autograph from Topps Finest... Jacob DeGrom card. I'm not a really huge Jacob DeGrom fan. So when he was willing to trade this for that... I said, let's do it. We got this beautiful Topps tribute card. Duke Schneider, dual bat relic, sticker auto. What a beautiful looking card. And this is from 2009, number to 25. Isn't that cool? I'm pretty happy with it. And then yesterday, Bobby was asking if anyone had a uh, Mookie Betts jersey relic. And I just so happened to have one in my box from the 2017 uh, Topps Triple Thread set. And I wasn't, wasn't too worried about holding on to it. Uh, so he dug through some of his cards, pulled this out, and without hesitation, I said, let's do it. This beautiful Roy Campanella Bat Relic, Triple Bat Relic card number to 25. And this one, this is from Topps, uh, what is this? Top Sterling. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Isn't that beautiful? I'm stoked on that. Okay, and for the grand finale, 
A few of the guys at the trade at the trade yesterday were uh, ripping into some jumbo packs of the 2019 Topps Chrome. So I figured, hey, let me jump in there. They opened a fresh box, and we were all grabbing at them, hoping to get the best autos. And what do you know? I got the case hit. This beautiful orange Yadier Molina on card auto number to 25. And this is designed after the 1999 Topps Chrome uh, set. This is a really nice card. I was so stoked when I got this. This is probably one of the best cards that I've ever pulled out of a pack. Um, you know, I'm not really a huge Yadier Molina fan, so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and try and make a little profit off this one just to uh you know get some money back for some vacations i have coming up here and uh this one does have a pretty good value to it so since i'm not really a huge fan of his it doesn't really have too much uh holding on to worth for me so this one is actually up on ebay right now if anyone's interested go ahead and uh, make an offer all right, you guys. Well, that's it for today. Thanks, as always, for watching. Go ahead and leave some comments and let me know what you think. Uh, you can go ahead and hit that like button if you don't mind either. Thanks for subscribing. And stay groovy. Peace.